What's going on guys? John Alder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to create a form to upload our profile pictures for our Twitter clone app with Django and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to create the web form to upload our profile pictures. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash like button below, subscribe to the channel, give a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime memberships on my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in the last video, we set up the mechanism to create a profile picture to upload it via the back end on the Django admin area. In this video, we want to move all that to the website itself so users, just regular people using the website, can upload their profile picture. And this is actually pretty interesting, and there's going to be all kinds of neat stuff in this video, so check this one out. Let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other Twitter clone videos in this series, so check that out if you haven't so far. Okay, so in the last video, remember we set up this profile image in our model. And then if we head back over here to the website and go to the admin section, we remember this, we click on users and then say admin. Right here, we can upload a profile picture. And we've set that up to where it shows up on our profile, right? We did all that in the last video. If you didn't see that, check that out. Well, users aren't gonna log into your admin section to upload their profiles. They're gonna wanna do it from the web page. So that's what we're gonna set up in this video. And there's all kinds of cool moving parts to this thing. Because if we come over here to update our profile, we see we've got the username, uh, first and last name, the email address, and the password, and that's it. There aren't any other fields. How come? Well, remember, we kind of extended the user model. The Django authentication system has a user model that has basic stuff. We kind of slapped some other stuff on it. And that stuff that we slapped on it isn't showing up here. And that's because it sort of saves it separately. And so we're, we're going to get into it in this video. So let's start out by, let's see, let's head over to our forms.py file. And what we're going to need to do is create another form. So profile extra, extras, let's call it form, right? And this is going to be a class. And let's just call this profile pick form. So basically, we're just going to use this to update our profile picture and to upload our profile picture. So all right, let's uh, inherit forms.model form. And that's from here, import forms up at the top. So, okay, now this doesn't have to be all that complicated. We just really need one thing, a profile image. And this is gonna equal forms.image field. And we just want the label of this guy to say profile picture or something like that. Now these are lowercase l's, keep that in mind. I know they look kind of like capitals, but they're lowercase. And that's pretty much all we need. So now we need to designate where we're going to be saving this. And we're not going to be saving this to our user profile because that's the Django user authentication system. And we don't really want to mess with that. We want to save this in the profile model. And if we head over to our models.py file, remember we've got this profile model that we sort of one-to-one -one field foreign keyed over to our user model, right? And that is where the profile image is being saved in that model. So of course we wanna use that model, which is called profile. So let's come down here and let's go class meta. And we want our model to equal that profile. And for the fields, we just want our profile image. And now we have to have a comma here and a little space. That's just how these things work with the tuple. And there we go. So okay, up here at the top, it doesn't look like we are importing the profile model, right? So we need to be sure to do that. So from models, we're importing our meat model. Uh, we also need to import our profile model. So, okay, that looks good. And we're good to go. Now we've got this profile pick form. We need to use it. So let's head over to reviews.py file. And up at the top where we're importing our other forms, the meat form and the signup form, we also want to import that profile pick form, right? So, okay, that looks good. So let's come down here to our, let's see, what would it be? The update user, and we need to play around with this. So up until now, we got the current user, right? Because we need to know who to save this to, but we also need to get the current user's profile stuff. So I'm gonna create another variable called profile underscore user, and this is just gonna be our profile.objects.get. We need to look that user up, right? But instead of in the profile, it's not the ID. It is the user underscore underscore ID. That's just sort of how Django handles this. 
And now this will look up whatever the current logged in user is, because of course, whoever's logged in, we're looking for their profile, right? Well, this will grab their, not just their user, but their profile. This first one will grab the user, the second one will grab the profile, and we need both of them now, right? So we've got this form, which is just the user authentication form, but I'm gonna change the name of this from form to user underscore form. And then down here, where we're passing that into the form or into the page, I'm gonna change that here also, user underscore form and user underscore form. Why? Because we need that other profile pick form and we need to pass that in. So to sort of differentiate them both, I'm gonna call one the user form and the other the profile form, right? So, okay. So let's say get forms, right? So this is the user form right here. We also want a profile underscore form. And this is gonna be the profile pick form that we just created, right? And same thing here, we, we need to send the instance and the stuff in there. So instead of the current user though, we're going to get the profile user that we just designated right here, right? So, okay, that's cool. Now, we need to also make a little bit of a change to both of these forms because whenever you're dealing with images, you're dealing with files. Up until now, we've been dealing with data. So a post, right, that's data. We're gonna be posting files. So instead of request.post, we need request.files. So I'm gonna stick this in here for both of them. So let's go request.files or none, comma, and then I could just copy this thing right here and pop it in right there as well. Okay, so this is looking good. So essentially what we're gonna be doing is passing two forms onto the page and the user won't notice. It'll just look like one form, but there'll actually be two forms. And when they click the button, we wanna save both of those forms. And we can do that with Django, which is really cool. I love that. So, but to do that, we need to come down here into our logic and, and mess around with it, right? So we've got, if form is valid, but remember we changed this to user underscore form. So let me change this to that. Now, if user underscore form is valid and profile underscore form dot is underscore valid, then we wanna user underscore form dot save and profile underscore form dot save. Very cool. And that's it. So, okay, we've got these two things. Now we need to fiddle with our form page, the actual HTML page. And there's actually a couple of changes we need to make. So let's head over here to our templates and our update user page. So here we've got our form, right? And right now it just deals with this method post. But remember earlier I said, we're dealing with files. A picture, an image is a file. So we need to sort of account for that right here. So we do that by calling an ENC TYPE encoding type and set that equal to a multi part slash form dash data. And that basically just says, hey, allow images, right? So, okay, we've got this form as P, but remember we changed the name of this to user underscore form as P. And we also want the profile underscore form dot as P. Very cool. And maybe we wanna put a line break here, or maybe a couple of line breaks, I don't know, whatever. And that should do the trick. So the important part here is to add this for sure and then just pass in our new updated forms. So let's go ahead and save this and see if this worked. I have no idea if it will. Uh, let's start over here. Let's go to my profile. There it is. Now let's click update profile. And uh oh, we got a problem here. Oh, because let's head back over here to our view. We forgot to, let's see, down here, we've got the user form. We also need the profile underscore form, colon profile underscore form. All right, we've got our user form. Our profile form, that looks good. Save this, come back over here, make sure this looks good. User underscore form, profile underscore form. Okay, that looks good too. Now, if we reload this, there we go. So you'll see it has our information for our user, like we would expect. It also has our image sitting there because remember, if we go to my profile, we've already got a profile picture here, right? So if we click this again, we can change this. 
we can change it to this guy right here. And remember, we got to put in our password, so that looks good. Now if we click this, hey, it sends us back to the home page. We click on here and boom, it updates our profile picture. And it works, pretty cool. Now we can change it again if we want, right? Be sure to add your password, click this guy, and let's change it to, I don't know, it's a weird picture of Bill Gates. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to go ahead and change that back again because that's just creepy. And what? Let's go with me and Aspen. It's the classic. Can't go wrong. Boom. There we go. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but a couple of neat little curveballs. You know, who knew you could pass two forms onto a page and save them both with one button click? That's very cool. So that will allow you to extend your models and your database stuff in all kinds of weird ways going forward if you want to. And uh, very cool. So just to recap very quickly, the big thing here is you have to put this ENC type on there. And uh, really that's kind of all there is to it after that. And very cool. Now, if we log out and then try and register, you'll notice the image thing isn't there. We we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to tweak that. We'll probably do that in the next video. This one's getting a little bit long. Uh, but for now, we are coming right along and uh, pretty cool. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. That's access to all my courses, almost 60 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.